My name is Bella. I'm a second grader at Village Elementary School in Round Lake. My school is one of 11 at Round Lake schools. I'm one of 7,200 students. Did you know that Round Lake schools is the best kept secret in, in Lake County? I think it's time for that secret to change because we have so much to share. Just watch. We've been doing STEM at Round Lake Middle School for about five years now. Um, we started uh, with Project Lead the Way a few years ago, uh, design and modeling, and we've also moved into automatic automation and robotics. And um, it's really uh, an awesome program. The kids learn the uh, six steps in a design process, and they're applying that to everyday life to their other classes. Um, one of the things we do in automation and robotics is we'll build uh, drag racers um, and the kids will actually use that process to build a dragster and test it and then make improvements and test it and make more improvements and uh, I see them doing this um, all the time in other classes. I'm really excited that the elementary schools are adopting Project Lead the Way so we should have a nice seamless path through elementary, middle school, high school and on to college. Elementary Scholars is a new program in our district. It's a 21st century project-based learning program which prepares students for success in school, careers and life. The students in this program are introduced to team building and problem solving activities, which leads them to competing against others in our county, state, or world. Last year we sent a team to Globals in Tennessee and we hope to send more in the future. In the Business Incubator, students get to participate in a year-long project-based learning program. In addition to the concepts covered in class, they have a unique opportunity to develop their professional identities well in advance compared to their peers. One of the most exciting aspects is the ability to regularly engage and interact with members of the professional business community. In addition to the lessons learned in class, they get to carry all of those experiences with them beyond their time in the incubator and at Round Lake High School. We had a very exciting year at Pleviac regarding our student growth this year on the MAP test. This year, 65% of our students met their reading goals and 73% of our students met their math goals by winter. I feel there's a couple changes that factor into this huge jump. One of the changes is that we went from a half day program all the way to a full day program. Having a full day program allows the teachers more instruction time with their students, but it also allows the students opportunities to participate in things like gym, technology class, art class, music class, library. Those are all very important parts of our kindergarten curriculum. One of the biggest benefits of blended learning is that it allows me to teach students based off of what their choice is and what they're interested in. So in class right now, I have one group of students who are reading one book as they're working on something together, and I'm gonna talk with them in a second. Out of the class is two different groups reading different books, working on different aspects of their group projects. So competency-based learning and blended learning allows students to learn what they want to learn. It empowers them with choice, and it keeps even seniors motivated to keep on working towards the end of the year. I think the coolest thing for me as the tech coach in the building has been seeing people trying new things. People have really opened up their mind of what they want to accomplish and they're trying to move away from what they are most comfortable with in order to give the students what they need most, which tends to be a struggle sometimes in schools. Um, but this year we've seen more teachers use the carts more often than ever before. Our carts are basically checked out every period, every day, weeks out in, ahead, uh, weeks out in advance. And so by um, so much demand, I've had a lot of opportunity to go in the classes to support these teachers trying all these new things. Hi, I'm in the Project Lead the Way space at Round Lake High. This space exists because of the referendum that was passed a couple years ago. In here, we teach our students 21st century skills. We teach them how to use engineering and scientific techniques to solve actual problems and create things and work together as a team. It is so amazing how much this program has grown. We've actually doubled our enrollment going into this fall from when the program was started just two years ago. We're going to have over 260 Round Lake students enrolled in this program next year. And that's an amazing accomplishment. So here at Ellis Elementary School, our students now have a lot of amazing opportunities thanks to our new Limitless Learning Commons. They now have access to robotics, 3D pens, 
and a new makerspace where they're able to create, film, and just share their ideas in new and unique ways. In the past several years, the music program has grown quite a lot at Round Lake High School and throughout the district. Uh, when I arrived here in 2013, we had two classes of band and four choirs. We've now grown to five classes of band and six choirs, as well as an extensive amount of extracurricular ensembles and opportunities. We've also seen overall numbers grow of that as well. They were roughly around 130 kids involved uh, back in 2013, and now we're over 500 between band, choir, and guard. I've been uh, coaching in the district now for five years, and over those five years, I've seen a lot of growth um, throughout multiple sports. Um, I've coached track, wrestling, uh, football, softball, and in all the cases, seen significant uh, growth uh, with participants, uh, achievements. Um, we've had countless state qualifiers. We've had multiple state champions. And uh, it's really fun and it's nice to watch uh, this, these athletes feel a sense of ownership for their team, a uh, sense of responsibility, uh, and really a sense of achievement. We always um, work to achieve our goals, and if we don't get there, um, it's not really about getting, it's, it's about the work you put in, and that's what we always try to sell to our athletes is um, put in the hard work and good things are going to happen. The Round Lake Winter Guard program has been going strong for many years, but our last three seasons have by far been the best. We have been the Midwest Color Guard Circuit champions in our class for the last three years. Um, we've also been undefeated for the last two seasons. I feel like the program is really important to the students of Round Lake High School because it instills team discipline, self-discipline, organizational skills, and team building skills. I'm very proud to be the coach of the Round Lake Winter Guard team. We've taken the music department to new places. Over the past six years, we've gone to Nashville, uh, Disney World, and next year we're going to go to New Orleans. Uh, and kids get to have fun with their friends and have successful musical experiences. Uh, and also as the community supports us more um, and kids join, we're able to do harder music. Um, we've seen uh, more students go to district and state music events. Uh, and also we're able to bring in high quality clinicians for our All District Choir Fest and throughout the year. Several years ago, we were limited in our performance opportunities. Now you'll see us throughout the community performing the Talent Expo, Black History Month program, and village tree lighting ceremonies. We in the Round Lake Area School District are so fortunate to be able to partner with the Lake County Health Department in the creation of the Student-Based Health and Wellness Center. Here on the high school campus, we're able to offer our students and staff across the district access to medical health care, behavioral health care, as well as dental referrals. We utilize the clinic for everyday student and staff care, as well as immunizations and physicals in order to increase our compliance. We are so fortunate to be able to offer these services which are unique to our area of Lake County. Hi, I'd like to talk to you about how Round Lake Music Department supports the communities. We support them with tree lighting ceremonies, senior and assisted living performances, the Rotary Christmas party every year, and the Chili Supper. We welcome the community to any and all of our concerts and theatrical productions. The Round Lake Area Schools Education Foundation provides grants to staff for unique and innovative programs. My classroom, among others, have been recipients of these grants. The Round Lake Preschool is an award-winning program that services approximately 200 students ages 3 to 5. We have made huge strides at Round Lake Area Schools in the area of finances. Our district has achieved the Certificate of Excellence in Financial Reporting for five consecutive years and also earned the Meritorious Budget Award. These designations have only been achieved by a handful of school districts in the state and across the country. Round Lake Area Schools vision is to become a nationally compact district. We are proud to um, share that last year Round Lake High School was designated by the US News and World Report as, as one of the best high schools in the state and country. So what do you think? Pretty amazing, right? I'm so happy about all the great opportunities here. Look what's waiting for us at Round Lake Schools. Bye!